Right, here we go. Yes, there we go. Oh, let's see when it's in the place where it's visible. Boy, this is <laughs> it's bright sunlight today. All right, let's see what I can do about that. Can I brighten this up anymore? Hi, welcome. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this to... Let's try it this way. Is that any better? Oh, there we go. Trying to get the screen to do the right thing. There you are, Sarah. It's nice to have you here. And trying to get this to... Okay, good. We're going to see that. All right. Welcome. One and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm doing this manually because I don't have a table to put my tripod on right now. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Welcome, welcome to the Perry 10K. Perry 10K. Share on round one. The world needs positivity right now is the theme. So I'm going to get organized and get oriented. So I'm just going to show you. Perry 10K is the hashtag. So you find that. And Perry 10K, whoops, dot com slash join. Just get in front of half on the screen is the whole thing. Here we go. Woot woot indeed. <laughs> nice to have you here. And a quick run through of who's coming up. And again, the theme today is the world needs positivity right now. And I'm going to get into that in about three minutes. Right now, I'm just giving you a warm up and let everybody come into the room. Thanks for coming in. If you're on the replay, please feel free to tap the screen as well for hearts. And thank you, as you just did there, to, uh, for Jade. Uh, yes, positivity, what we're talking about. But it's going to be interesting as we have so many people talking today. And that's why I want to share that in a moment. Um, just see what's coming up. We have myself, followed by Sarah Exley, and she her her handle is in my title. Followed by Jai, Jay, he just came on board. Uh, Deborah, Aka, and then Carolyn, Carolina Rayburn, who's my accountability buddy. So that's going to be fun too. So, all right, all right. So again, let me sort this out. Um, there we go. Whew. It is actually very sunny and warm at the same time, very breezy at the same time. There's Carolina. Nice to have you here, my love. I saw Sarah's on here, so a bunch of the people are here. And there is Miss Katya. It's going to be an awesome show -thon. It's absolutely going to be. Um, but I'm not going to start the show -thon just yet because I'll make sure everybody comes in the room, gets organized, shares everything else. So let me give you some round, ground rules. This is the Perry 10K show -thon. And I'll tell you a bit more about Perry 10K in the last minute or two of my scope. What you're going to be doing if you're watching this scope is you're going to be playing along. You're participating. So here's what you're going to do. First, you've got to make sure you're tapping on the screen for hearts during the whole thing. And if you're doing a lot of hearts, you love doing that, just so you know, 500 hearts is the max that counts. Hi, Amy, good to have you here. Um, and at the same time, if you get to 500 and you want to do more hearts that contribute choice, you just drop out of the scope and come again again. You don't have to do that, but if you want to do that. But I'm welcoming the hearts because I'm pushing towards my 400,000 hearts, and that's kind of like a big goal for the weekend. And today's Wednesday, so I don't mind getting there first. <laughs> Second thing is, if you're not already following me, please make sure you tap the little guy down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then that brings up my profile you can tap on my name and tap follow me if you're not already doing so and also while you're there you can do the share two of them actually three of them one is you can share on twitter to share this scope and then share the people who are coming on board secondly good day everybody um tap on invite your followers on periscope and third if you want to share it on facebook so that's the round rules or i should say the housekeeping for this scope so thanks for coming in um because it's so bright i'm going to exalt the glasses so i can read the comments properly there we go <laughs> it's fun so you're all about love, good. Um, I am, let me, and let's close to the top of the air, let me start. So let me just double show you again. Screen. All right, so again, here we are in the Perry 10K, that's the hashtag, share round one. Perry10K.com slash join is the link to find out more about us. The, the um, You can't join us right now, but you can get on the waiting list. So if you go to Perry10K.com slash join, if you can read that, can I just get the screen to read? Hope you read that. Um, then you can join us. The topic today is the world needs positivity right now. And again, recapping, hi Mike, nice to have you here, is myself kicking off the scope, followed by Sarah Exley, then by Jay, Guy, Jay Garcia, and Deborah Acker, and finally, finally following up and introducing the next round is Carolina Rayburn. And here's all the hashtag, the, uh, sorry, the handles, which aren't showing up, come on. Let me block this, so hopefully we'll get the, the screen. It's like, yeah, all right, get out. Okay, hi, welcome again. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for joining us. My name is Barry Selby. I am... I don't have any props of me. Oh, well, I'll work without. My name is Barry Selby. I am the heartbreak repair specialist known as the love doctor to my friends. My mission, my work, my service is helping women heal their hearts, which means a very positive thing too. So I'm going to speak to the positivity piece, but just know I've got a background that really supports this. And what I mean by positivity is being a positive influence on the planet. So I know just be the way. I know it's come up in round two, which you want to stay tuned for, besides round one, because this is going to be a very diverse group of a crazy bunch of people. 
because Perry Tenke is an amazing family that I'm glad to be part of. In my participation, I'm not so much about the song and dance, which some of the people will be, because that's what they want to do, which is awesome. I'm about how can you make life better for yourself and other people as a positive influence on the planet. Because I have a pet peeve. Um, positivity isn't just feel good. Because it's easy to um, avoid things by feeling good. Drugs, alcohol, um, medication, etc., etc., can be used as ways to feel good temporarily, to be positive. But that's not enough. I'm sorry, it's not enough. I am very biased, very biased, that if you're in the planet and you're breathing, you can make a positive difference. Yes, you can make a positive difference. And and by the way, I'm unscripted, so this is coming through me, not as, as something I planned on. So we're going to go where it's going to go. And thanks for joining me. And if you want to keep sharing, if you just join the scope, please make sure you do tap on the little guy in the corner and share and invite your followers. Pragmatism, yes, in a way, yes. And what I mean specifically is how do you carry, you know, like, let me put this, you know, in um, Charlie Brown, I think it was Linus who walked around with a cloud over his head all the whole time with all the dust and everything. If I, I maybe get my characters messed up in the show, but if you basically saw Charlie Brown, there was a character in there who walked around with a big cloud over his head. Certainly in the cartoons, that was happening a lot in the kids' cartoons. I remember watching them as a kid many, 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 many moons ago. That cloud, which is like a funk or, or negative emotion or upset or sadness or whatever it is. Pigpen, thank you. Glad somebody knew. <laughs> um, what I want to speak to is that people do that. There are people out there who are, yes, positive on the planet, so I'll get to that in a second. There are people out there who walk around with this cloud of funk, F-U-N-K, funk over their head or in their energy field. And it tends to impact people. You know the people, you see them around in daily life, maybe in the store or in the office or at home even, where somebody you know, when you're around them, you just feel like around them because they, pull, they set the life out of they set the life out of you basically. In the sense that they suck all the joy out of the room because they don't feel happy and they want to make sure that nobody feels happy around them. So that's the negative spin. So I'm feeling that what we can do as awake, aware people, because you are, aren't you? I am, you are, sure we are, is you can do the opposite. What I mean is, instead of having a dark cloud hanging over your head, you have bright sunshine cloud, or just sunshine itself, just light beams, if you imagine that. So when you walk into a room, your energy lifts the vibration of people around you, in your personal relationships, in your business relationships, family relationships, social relationships, all those places you go where you te touch other people, even online like this with Periscope, or on Facebook or social media, you can add to the positive vibration of the planet by the energy you bring. Now, one of the ways I believe we can do that, energy is transferable. And depending on the state of somebody else's energy field, they may receive that. For some of us, we're getting better, and I'm getting better personally, at making sure that my filter for what I receive is more positive. So I don't get brought down by somebody else's negativity. Because there are people out there who feel that their survival is based upon being negative. That's their choice. And I bless them on their journey, away from me. <laughs> so positivity is a choice every moment and not one time that's the thing as well you know I shared earlier in my scope this morning about exactly I shared this morning earlier on this morning about you know feeling good or feeling bad is a choice and this is and today's was part two of a two day it's gonna be a five day conversation um, thank you um, and the thing was is I was talking about somebody's experience that I met on Monday who went from bad to worse because she wasn't getting what she wanted and whatever that was she wasn't expressing what that was she wanted in the first place so she wasn't getting what she wanted from people and she got more upset and infuriated and, and pissed off and didn't ask for what she wanted so if she'd asked for it she probably would have got it and been much happier but she was more attached to the feeling than to the result crazy people <laughs> and so my passion in my work and also in my life is to make sure um, you have not because you asked not. Ooh, you're getting very, very biblical on that one. That was good. Um, and yes, we do choose a response, but not so much we choose our response to the world. We choose our interaction with the world. My intention every day, which is almost unspoken now, is that what can I do to make the world a better place than I found it the day before? Whether it's one life touched, it's, I don't know, you know opening a door for somebody, um, it's smiling when I go pie at somebody. It's not, you don't have to do major stuff. You really don't have to. It's about what do you do to contribute to other people on the planet? Locally, globally, however you do that, with Periscope is one of my favorite places. So the people will leave the place you're in, Periscope, the room, the place you're at, feeling better than they did when they came in. That's positivity. No, well, see, the thing is about goals, you're saying goals don't need to happen as they don't, they should serve, which is true, Mike. 
it's kind of like, can you enjoy the journey as well as the destination? And the challenge for men, as masculine men, is that we're always focused on the goal. Whereas the women go, look at the lovely flowers. <laughs> There's a definite, and this is an interesting difference between men and women, masculine and feminine. So women have a general ability to tap into the feeling of things much more easily than men do, generally speaking. So for men especially, so you men out there listening, remember that we bring a whole abundance, a bucket load of positivity and inspiration to the planet if we simply tap into it and share it. And Mike's a guy I know who does that. And a bunch of people in here in the Fairy 10K group do that, men and women. I'm passionate about this, as my my, my followers know. They, they, they love what I talk about. So, well, yes, Deborah, um, unless you're a woman with masculine energy, that's true. So let me, let me re-qualify, because you're absolutely right. What I, what I did, should have said was the masculine is focused on the goal. The feminine is focused on what's around. So you're right. I, I misspoke. And this is true. I speak about this, and I should I should have labeled it better, but I'm just generalizing masculine as men generally and feminine as women generally. But again, those are general labels, so I'll get off that. So um, you get my point. <laughs> Positivity is not necessarily about just being happy because happiness is a, is a emotion or a feeling. Positivity, is an, is a, for me, is an upward direction to be, a place you can focus your energy towards a goal, a um, destination that is better off than you were. So I speak to this passionately in my work, as people know, as you know, if you follow me, but I speak to also in the world. So I spend a lot of time in my in circles and environments looking for the positive direction we can take it. Not to say, oh, everything's going to be okay. Well, it is going to be okay. But also, what can we learn? What can we grow? How can we inspire? How can we heal? How can we change? How can we transform the experience from what it was to something better today? If you can do that every day as a goal, to leave, finish the day with having touched one life, one person, and made their day slightly better, even just an increment, then you've won. So I'm offering you this game or this challenge of positivity. How can you, in your life, do anything, one thing, and it can be 25 things, but to start today, start in this moment, to think of what can you do that will add to the world around you in a positive way. If it's cleaning up trash, if it's serving the homeless, if it's doing something big in the world with a social condition change, if it's changing laws, or if it's simply just doing something small, helping a child out when he falls down, or helping the door for somebody as they come up, or opening, or giving someone a parking space. There's so many things we can do that are positive. And the funny thing is, and that's going to say that, exactly going to say that, sometimes it may be the person who you do that for, at the time to draw it irritate some, yes. Some people will not appreciate what you do. That's not your fault. Oh, great. I'm glad you do, Tamiko. That's good to know. And I'm glad you are. And I think most of the Perry Tain K are put, putting that into our way of being because we are very inspirational, positive people, generally speaking, um, until we're not, which happens once in a while. So, so what you said about that, about people don't appreciate, it's true. The thing you want to do is you want to bring, because this is two things, double, it's a double edge, it's a double tool, weapon, as it were. And by the way, Sarah, make sure you grab some, some um, emoticons because you're going up in like uh, just over a minute. So make sure Sarah's up and running. Um, when you do things for other people, they may not like it. Be okay with that. Because the truth is your energy is what's coming as well as what you're doing. So actions and your energy are two things you can bring that are positive. And sometimes people, will, I know, because being a gentleman, going in the door for ladies, sometimes they go, I can own it myself. It's like, I wasn't trying to make you feel weak. I was doing it out of respect. And they go, oh. So sometimes it takes explaining, you know? So there's, there's Jay, who's up after Sarah. Sarah, you put some emojis, please? I didn't see your emojis come up yet. So please make sure you put some up because you're going to be coming up next in like 30 seconds. Sarah is still in the room? I hope she is. <laughs> if not, then you have to follow me to follow her. And if you're not following me, by the way, tap the little guy in the corner so you can follow me. And I will make sure that you get across to her as well. So that's 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 kind of my rant for the moment. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Sarah. Oh, two minutes. Oh, I didn't realize I was... Oh, my clock was off. I thought it was two minutes. All right. So Sarah, that, they see the unicorns? <laughs> Perfect. I love that. Sarah's next. She's going to go on. So make sure you're following her. And she'll be up and running in it shortly. And then somebody will tell me when she's live so that I can step down and she can step up. So that's my message for the day. Positivity is definitely needed more than ever. But the thing is, we can all do it. doesn't matter what your financial bracket is. Your, oh, your keyboard is slow. <laughs> Actually, my phone's the keyboard's gotten slowed down a couple of times. It's got too much stuff running, I think. So Sarah will be looking forward to you. So come on, get yourself set up and be ready to go. Um, and there's Steph. And that's got, Steph's kicking up round two. And her positivity is off the frigging charts. <laughs> That's going to be fun to watch. So, um, 
this is this is really the key. And everyone's going to be doing stuff differently today. I know that. So I'm very grateful for the fact that I'm part of sharing this and speaking this because I have a passion for this stuff too. Yeah, there she is for round two. That's going to be top of the hour coming up in about an hour from now. All right. So um, any questions, any thoughts before I wrap up? I'm waiting for Sarah to go live. You love on people every day. Yeah, be careful when you do love on people. You do it from a place of um, respect, not a place of like, I need to love you because it can sometimes be overwhelming. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just want to say that because I've had people do it to me. And I'm like, whoa, I love people too, but not that way. Just to be clean. Because you've got to watch boundaries too and respect that. So, yeah. So that's why I'm seeing who that is. So kisses. Okay, I'm not sure who that is. It doesn't show your name. It just says kissed and kisses is your profile and your handle. Um, so thanks for joining and thanks for being in the scope. And I appreciate all the hearts. As I said, I'm getting up to, well, probably about 385, 390. My pleasure. It's a joy. I mean, Rhonda. Nice to meet you, Rhonda. Um, it's something, as you can tell, that I'm passionate about, like I am about a lot of things. So for Sarah's life, great. Okay, folks, I'm wrapping up. Nice to have you here. Make sure you do follow me on Periscope. And we're going to go over and watch Sarah right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.